Hello everybody. My name is Ragnamune. And this is going to be a let's play, my very first let's play. Of a game that's well, I haven't seen too many of these. I've seen them on the computer. For that's for the computer. But I need to shut up right now. Cutscene. Yes, people, this is a let's play of Darkstone. This is being played on a PS1 emulator. Version 1.13. I own one copy of Darkstone. Purchased from... Well, uh, I do have it. It is a legal copy. It's from a good friend of mine. Check, it works, good. Anyways, to start off this game, you have to go create a hero. And you've got four classes to do so. You've got the warrior class, male or female, does not matter. Has the highest strength, lowest magic, good dexterity, great health. This is a... This is a very balanced class, specializing in close combat. Wizards, which I consider polar opposites of, me of warriors. They've got the lowest strength, but the highest mana. They've got great dexterity, but also the lowest in terms of health. This isn't that. This isn't really worth it, especially if you're going to be going to and fro with certain kinds of weapons and now item stuff. Um. The Thief, aka Assassin if you're male, is my personal favorite. I have used this thing a lot on my PS1, not the emulator. I own it for PS1, and I've played this on PS1 a lot. But for you guys, I had to use an emulator because I don't have the means to report off my console. But I hope this works. They've got the second greatest strength, which is nice. Their health and mana, I'll point it out right now in somewhat sequence skip or whatever. They've got balanced health and mana. Ten. Nothing of theirs is five. So that's one advantage of being a thief. They're also best at ranged combat, as you see there. Very useful. Very useful. And they have the highest dexterity, so they can hit easily. And then lastly, you've got the priests, or the monk if you're a male. Um, they got average strength, they've got great magic, the lowest dexterity, but the highest vitality, a.k.a. health. And I'm going to be a thief for this Let's Play, because I, for one, love thieves. This is my name. Will you please remember it, guys? I'll have to create a memory card for this thing. Alright, so... Once you've created your character, you begin. You can create up to nine characters. So you can virtually create one of each class. And a cool little feature we will unlock, hopefully soon enough. Um, difficulty levels. You've got Novice, which is the basics. Expert, which is a big step up. Difficulty spikes in this game are unbelievable. When I went from level 1, when I went, when I got to level 20, I went on Expert, and the giant wasps in the first land killed me in four shots. And that scared me when I was little, because they were killing me that fast. Master, don't try it until you're prepared. Hero, I have yet to get through the hero mode on my PlayStation 1, my PlayStation 1 file. I have yet to get through Hero. So I have no idea what Legend has in store. Probably monsters that are just the biggest and baddest of all. 
But for these, we will go right now. We will go for novice. If you want me to play on the higher difficulty levels, it would. I don't know if that would qualify as the same thing as a let's play or like a let's replay. But it might work. Might not. That's up to you guys. If you like, if you hate this and you never want to hear my voice again, say so, and I will make it so. So, you have two quest slots. You can run two characters at once. I must shut up now. Drac is back. His own brothers, the disciples of Caliber, the ones who banished him. Will they know how to quench his thirst for power and revenge? I wonder what language they're speaking. Did he just say get shot? Does he sound mad to you? Ooh. Anyways, we're going to town. Oh, look. All the loading screens will have one cute little character at the bottom left. It'll be cool. I don't know why they did that, but I think it gets points for originality. Let's see. Controls well. It's a little laggy. If you guys can overlook this. Anyways, we have traitors. Dawson sells skills. Oh, not you, Garth. Dawson sells skills. We're gonna go ahead and learn theft. Yes. Um, Elmerick will sell magic, which I really wish I had enough money for right now, because it would help us greatly. And scrolls. He will also sell rings and amulets once you get farther in the game. Gunther, this guy. He sells weapons for all of your class needs. Yeah, if I wanted to, I could buy this helmet now just to... Mm, I might as well. You can buy, regardless of your class, you can buy any kind of weapon and any armor for spite your class. So that's pretty cool. Parry the Publishing. Uh, he sells food and torches. Food, I will get into in a minute. And if you find any artifacts, which will be highlighted in green, you can sell, you can sell these here to make a good profit. Um, I'm going to turn my volume down a little bit. Mixer. Oh, wow. I have to go to, like, the actual device. Wait. Hold on. Yep. I'm going to turn that down a little bit because it's blowing my speakers. There, much better. Sorry about that. Ah, uh, the disadvantages of an emulator. When I could just turn down the TV with a remote. Anyways, uh, square button. If you're wondering how the hell I'm moving around the camera, I'll do that first. I'm sorry. Um, to move around, you can either use the analog stick or D-pad. I am using the I'm using a, this is a D-pad, I'm playing this off of the keyboard, but I've got a good setup for this. To rotate the camera, you can either use the right analog stick, or you can hold the triangle button and use the D-pad, or left analog stick. That's pretty much what I'll have to do. Once I get to every area, I'll have to zoom out. It's going to be annoying. Please bear with me. S start. You can rest, which will can rest you can go to places visited so you can pretty much fast travel but only if there aren't monsters 
recorded messages, basically anyone you talk to, I can show that right now. Remember when we talked to Garth, any messages you get will be recorded. You can save, which I need to save. Yes, let us format. Formatting successful. Now I'm on an emulator, so I can speed this up, but I'm not gonna abuse save states. This is gonna be completely live. But I am not, I repeat, if I die in this, I will not just hit continue because that'll make you lose all your items, all of them, and you'll have to start over. Well, not the entire game, but just like from scratch. Just the money you got. That's why we have the option to not continue, so we can just reload the file. I don't plan on dying. Anyways, Square will open up your inventory. We've got stuff to equip. In your bag, you will find starting equipment. For a thief, you've got a knife, as a, three, as a ranged weapon, and rags, and I bought this helmet. You've also got the apple, which I am not going to eat right now. Potions, which I'm going to belt. Belt 1 and belt 2 are L1 and R1. Wait, wait, wait. L2 and R2, I'm sorry. L1 and R1 are your um, hotkeys for spell casting, or skill casting, or scroll casting. No, spell casting and scroll casting. Ugh. I knew I should have practiced more. Belt 1 is left, belt 2 is right. Uh, this is your bag, which will it will get full. So if you can't pick anything up, there will be something that we're pray, praying to God that we get right away. In terms of equipment, you can equip two amulets, which are here and here. A helmet slash hat thing. A weapon. This is the, this is the first hand. A shield, which there are two-handed weapons in this game. And if you're using a two-handed weapon, then you're not allowed to equip a shield. No duh for the... No duh for me. Blah. I need a refresher. Uh, rags. Um, a robe type slot. And four. One, two, three, four ring slots. Now, for amulets and rings, you're basically going to have enchantments on. There will be enchantments on them that will raise your overall health, mana, power, resistances, stats, whatever. Lastly, we have skills. Second lastly, anyways. Uh, as, as, as you saw, I learned theft. I'm going to equip that to magic one, because we got to get some money flowing. <sighs> theft, it's a thief-only thief skill where... When you're near an enemy, you hit the skill. You hit the skill that you, the skill key that you got your, that you got it mapped to, and you will be able to attempt to steal something from an enemy. And this is the best way, in my opinion, to earn money. And this is what gives thieves, in my and also in my opinion, total dominance over all classes. The ability to make money as fast as possible. You've got diffusing, which can help you destroy traps without taking damage. Trade, which we're going to buy soon enough, because trade is awesome. Identification, this is a must because you'll be, there will be certain items you find along your travels which you're not going to be able to see, in which if you have identification, you can identify them. If you don't, you'll actually have to go take them to Madam Irma, which I neglected to show, I'm very sorry. But we don't need to see her, really. At least, we don't. Because we got identification. It's going to cost you quite a bit. It depends on, like, the higher the price, the better the skills it's going to most likely identify. Perception, I think you can hear enemies from farther away. Learning, you got me. And silence is a passive skill as well because it basically affects how quietly you move. So enemies can or cannot detect you. Uh, over here on the left bar, you've got pretty much your character status, which I think is nicely set up. You've got your level and age. Obviously, the higher level you are, the more powerful you should be. Your age, which... Age is a factor in this game. The older you are, the, the somewhat stronger you could get. But if you grow too old, you'll become weaker. You have gold count. You have an enemy count. The first number on the left, below gold, will represent how many enemies you defeated. To the right of that number, you will actually... Well, I'm not going to spoil that, because that's something you'll see later. Much later. Below that, you have the experience. Getting experience in this game is very different. 
as you will get experience for the amount of damage you do to an enemy, which I think is very unique. I like that. You have strength, which determines your physical attack, which is marked by the sword, and the shield, which is pretty much defense points, which is being raised by my robe and hat. Uh, robe, hat. Things, as you can see with the duration, can break. So if those grow to zero, it won't necessarily break the moment it hits zero. If it's at zero, then it's got like one or two good hits left. So the moment you're, you notice it's about to break, go get it repaired. Um, the blue heart is magic, which you're going to need, I will kid you not, 155 of a magic stat in order to learn all the spells in the game. There are four rings. This one, this one will only take five to twenty to learn them all. This one will only t this one will take fifty-five to eighty. This one will take one hundred and five to one thirty, and this one will take one hundred and fifty-five and up. So get one hundred and fifty-five, please. Next, you have dexterity, which pretty much affects your aim, which is in the middle. If you see it as six percent. It's in the middle of the attack and defense. Then you have the red jar's health. I have 30 hit points and 30 mana points. Mark on the blue jar. And that last one is hunger. If hunger drops to zero, then you will take damage over time. And you don't want to die, do you? No one wants to. Anyways, 250. Only I had enough to get a shield of sorts in order to really start. But I don't have that kind of money. So what we must do... We must get going. But I want to move around a little bit. Just to... You can pay a gold right here to listen to the Darkstone theme song, The Stars Don't Shine. Okay, okay, I'll go take you to Irma. So I have to see this graphics test for my first time. I am that nervous. You can cure. You can identify. Cure meaning full heal. Well, at least health. Identify. Which will allow you to see any special skills or stats and bonuses that armor and weapons have. Release from a spell, there are items in at least experts and higher that are considered cursed. And if you put those on, you're not allowed to take them off unless you go to Irma and pay her a huge chunk of gold to get it off. So be weary of what you equip. You can just talk to her. Irma, at your service. I do terrible voiceovers, I'm sorry. Ah, here we go, much better. Uh, okay. This is the exit. So, in the next video, we'll actually start playing. I apologize for this being short, slash long, whatever, whatever you think it is. I am able to upload videos of any length, so expect high lengths of, like, long lengths of videos. In case you're wondering why I wanted to be a Let's Player, I was inspired by Chugga Kawanora, Nintendo Capri Sun, and Lucajin as well as the Super Gaming Brothers, some of YouTube's greatest. Watch their Let's Plays and love them. For God's sake, they do amazing jobs. And they're just awesome people all around. I respect them. And I thank you guys for inspiring me to start my own. Just saying. I hope I make you guys proud, guys and girls. See you next time.